Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this system of two equations. As you can see over here, 7 power x plus 1 plus 7 power y equal to 13 times square root of 7. And our next equation is 7 power x plus 7 power y plus 1 equal to 3 times square root of 7. And now we are going to find the value of 7 power x minus y. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this uh, first term in this first equation 7 power x plus 1. And here I have copied it down and this could be written as 7 times 7 power x and now let's focus on this uh, 7 power y plus 1 and here I have copied it down and this could also be written as 7 times 7 power y so therefore our these two equations could be written as you can see over here I replace this uh, 7 power x plus 1 by this 7 times 7 power x and likewise 7 power y plus 1 by 7 times 7 power y. Now to make our job easier let's go ahead and make a substitution. Let me call this 7 power x and this 7 power x as an a and this 7 power y and this 7 power y as a b. So therefore I'm going to write down a equal to 7 power x and b equal to 7 power y. Now this first equation could be written as 7 times a plus b equal to 13 times square root of 7 and likewise is this second equation could be written as a plus 7 b equal to 3 times square root of 7 and here I have copied down these two equations. Now we got a system of two equations with two variables and we are going to solve it by using the elimination method. Therefore we are going to multiply it this very first equation by 7. So therefore this first equation once we multiply by 7 is going to give us 7a plus 49b equal to 21 times square root of 7 and we are going to keep our second equation as it is. Now let's go ahead and subtract second equation from the first one. So before we do this thing we are going to change the sign. So this uh, 7a minus 7a this is gone. 49b minus uh, b is going to give us uh, 48 b equal to that is going to give us uh, a times square root of 7. Let's divide both sides by 48 and we can see this 48 and 48 is gone. So our b value turns out to be if we reduce this thing that's going to give us square root of 7 divided by 6. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and find the value of a by just plugging in this uh, b value in this equation over here. So I can write a plus 7 time b value in our case is square root of 7 divided by 6 equal to 3 times square root of 7. Now let's go ahead and move this thing on the right hand side. So we got a equal to 3 times square root of 7 minus this is going to become 7 times square root of 7 divided by 6. Now let's go ahead and make the same denominator. So I'm going to divide and multiply by 6. So therefore we are going to get a equal to 6 times 3 is going to become 18 times square root of 7 
divided by 6 minus 7 times square root of 7 divided by 6. And now in this next step, I wrote down 6 as a common denominator. So therefore, our a value turns out to be 11 times square root of 7 divided by 6. And this is our a value. And now we can see a equal to 7 power x. And here a turns out to be 11 times square root of 7 divided by 6. So therefore, I can write 7 power x equal to 11 times square root of 7 divided by 6. Likewise, b equal to 7 power y. In our case, b is square root of 7 divided by 6. Therefore, 7 power y could be written as square root of 7 divided by 6. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this uh, 7 power x minus y. And we are going to find the value of this one. And we know that 7 power x minus y could be written as 7 power x divided by 7 power y. And here's our 7 power x value. And this is our 7 power y value. Let's go ahead and just write down 7 power x value is 11 times square root of 7 divided by 6 and then divided by this other one is square root of 7 divided by 6. And now let's go ahead and invert this denominator so this could be written as 11 times square root of 7 divided by 6 and when we flip this uh, denominator over this become 6 divided by square root of 7 and now we can see that this 6 and 6 cancels out and square root of 7 cancels out with this square root of 7 so therefore our 7 power x minus y value turns out to be simply 11 as you can see over here. So thus after all these manipulations and substitution our 7 power x minus y value turns out to be 11 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.